sunscreens are the active ingredients oxybenzone which is a chemical and a hormone disruptor and it's been urged by scientists not to be used on children due to penetration and toxicity issues. Also vitamin A or retinol palmitate which is also another active ingredient has been known by the FDA to promote skin lesions into becoming cancerous lesions. The safest form of sunscreen protection is with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. This is because you get the broad spectrum coverage for the UVA and the UVB light and there's no chemical sunscreen needed. Just make sure that your zinc oxide or titanium dioxide is not micronized or nanoparticle. The FDA does admit that the nanoparticle sized particles can cross the blood brain barrier and cause brain or colon damage. So with a little research, we are here today to bust the top five myths on sunscreen. Number one, sunscreen prevents skin cancer. This is untrue. After doing research, we found that there is no scientific evidence that the sunscreen itself prevents skin cancer. There are, however, studies showing that children before the age of 17 who have had severe sunburns have a higher risk of getting cancer as an adult. The sunscreen itself does not prevent skin cancer. Number two, sprays and wipes uh, give better coverage when it comes to sunscreen. And this is untrue. The sprays or powders when used outside don't show the area that was actually covered and a lot of it gets blown away in the wind. So you really don't know how much you've applied to your skin. And with a wipe, even though the wipe itself is coated with sunscreen, when you apply it to the body, there's no way of knowing how much is actually transferred to the skin. So wipes and sprays or powders are not better coverage when it comes to sunscreen. Number three, the higher the sunscreen, the better the protection. Um, there are no studies showing that there is better protection for sunscreen rated, let's say, 100 over a sunscreen rated 50. Um, anything over 50 is considered misleading and it's a lot more expensive uh, to purchase something with a sunscreen rating of over 50. So don't fall for the gimmick. There's nothing uh, better about a sunscreen that's over 50 um, than there is a 50 or a 30 or a 40. Number four, skin is healthier with 24 seven sunscreen protection. And this is a myth because the skin itself does need to have sun absorption. Um, if you go out in the sun with sunscreen 24-7, you will probably not absorb enough um, sunlight to create vitamin D in your body. And there's more of a growing concern about the vitamin D deficiencies in our bodies than the sunscreen issues. A quarter of Americans today have a deficiency in vitamin D. It's actually recommended that you go outside unprotected with no sunscreen at least 15 minutes a day for several days a week. Um, that way you should have enough vitamin D in your body to fight off infection and disease. And that's the bigger problem. Uh, Americans are becoming very sick and uh, deficient in vitamin D because they're not getting enough sunlight. Number five. Vitamin A is a vitamin, so sunscreens with vitamin A as the active ingredient must be healthy, right? This is not true. Vitamin A has been found by the FDA to form free radicals in the body when exposed to sunlight, which actually helps skin lesions grow more quickly and damages DNA. Vitamin A is used in over a quarter of the sunscreens on the market. So you can see why vitamin A as an active ingredient in a sunscreen is concerning. Um, when vitamin A is exposed to the sun, it, it does this damage. Now, that's not to say that vitamin A is not good for the skin, period. When it's in a lotion or an eye cream, when you're not using it in direct sunlight for the day, um, it's actually great for anti-aging and for um, skin health. 
but as a sunscreen ingredient when exposed to the sun, vitamin A does have this uh, morphing property. So it's, it's really um, important to know if you have vitamin A in your sunscreen. So when you're looking for a sunscreen, remember these four things. The first thing is you want the active ingredient to be either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. And you want them to be non-micronized or non-nanoparticle. That's important. Number two, you want it to be a lotion, not a spray, not a powder or a wipe. Number three, you want to make sure there is no oxybenzone or vitamin A as an active ingredient. Number four, you want to make sure you get enough sunlight, unprotected sunlight, a week before you put on your sunscreen. So you want to be outside at least 15 minutes, several times a week, and then apply your sunscreen. Then go outside and enjoy the weather, enjoy the sun. Remember, we're Eve Organics, made by real women for real women. If you like the video, share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to our video channel so you can be one of the first ones to see our new videos every Friday. So here's a sneak peek at our new sunscreen made with zinc oxide. It's equivalent to a 25 SPF. It's white when it goes on. white when it goes on so that you can see where you've applied it and after a minute or so not even a minute it dissipates clear as can be and safe chemical free protection thanks for watching